Hello ladies and gentlemen and a welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 where we're going to be playing as Australia. Now a few of you may have watched my previous campaign as Australia when a multiplayer campaign but it was uh, with Shadow. I, I know I just call him Joe. I'm trying to remember what his channel name is. I know I remembered calling him something that he in a way that he didn't actually like it was wrong but I thought it fit better and now I yeah, Shadow Fighter Joe, that's what we're going to call him. <laughs> I think it's Shadow Fighter Pro if you want to find him on YouTube. But anyway, I, I would say partly due to the fact that to um, get through the recording... Uh, nothing to do with Joe, by the way, I would like to point this out, but to get through the recording um, session, I went through about three boxes of wine. Uh, so let's safe to say, you know, me diving into the game first to actual full campaign, um, three boxes of wine and, you know, a multiplayer campaign where you're not con really controlling your own speed. And I, um... I was probably not the most helpful. Uh, the intention was for myself and Joe, myself here in Australia, Joe in Canada, and I'd envisioned the scenario which I thought I'd explained to Joe, where, yes, we was gonna go fascist, because I still believe... Well, I, I basically I'd heard that that was the sort of more OP way that you could go out and attack things, but I didn't necessarily want to attack the Allies. I wanted to be a proactive force against the Axis. So although we might be fascist, we're doing the bad thing to protect the rest of the world. Now, due to one thing or another, which I think was uh, game mechanics, which weren't quite how I remember them, and uh, when I'd explained it to Joe, I think they changed recently with an update or a patch, or something that came out. Basically, it went very poorly. The Dominion of Canada did become independent uh, for a short while before the Americans basically killed it. I had specifically said not to preemptively attack of the Americas, because, again, I didn't want to attack the Allies. <laughs> we ended up in a situation where the only people we could attack were the allies because I'm not completely sure but I think we ran into a situation where fascist nations couldn't declare war on each other now I think that's a lot of bullcrap if that is the case and because I'm planning on going down the same route again as Australia myself hoping that in a slightly clearer state of mind although there is still some alcohol involved and energy drink but more balance so maybe <laughs> Maybe the negative effect of the alcohol will be offset by the uh, energy drink, uh, but Australia is going to be a regional power and it is going to try and stop, specifically I'm, I'm thinking Japanese aggression. But of course that's going to completely depend on what happens. We're going to be going down the fascist route, we are going to be going independent but we may rejoin the Allies. Depending, on, again, on how things go, because I'm planning on attacking the Axis. Uh, but let's get into the game and actually get started, because I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the speediest of starts as Australia, because we don't have all that much... Well, <laughs> unfortunately, we don't have all that much of much. Uh, we're a rather little small nation, and I still don't understand the game. <laughs> uh, for those of you who have watched my channel before, you'll know that basically my entire gaming life is on the channel. And if you look at the recent upload, you'll see that... Oh, well, actually, no, you should see some things coming out recently. But uh, almost like a three-year gap, shall we put it that way. Now, I don't think we're going to have to have any real early wars. So, generally speaking, researching tech to increase tech speed sounds good. And you guys, a factory output, which I also think we're going to need. So we only have two techs, let's go for the thing that helps us tech faster and the thing that helps us build faster. We have three civilian factories, we only currently have 11, seven of them are being given over to consumer goods factories. That's another reason for going communist, I believe we can basically get that down. Now again, I'm not planning for... Well, I guess really I am going to end up in an early war, but I'm not planning for it because at the minute, you know, well, tension is zero percent. There's not going to be a war. Yeah, you know, I might need to jump in and help people, but there's not actually going to be a war. And I always like the idea of having at least fifteen factories. 
to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to be building them... in the places with higher infrastructure first, don't I? So that's one for you, one for you. Then you, then you, then you. That gives me one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that's only going to get me up to nine productions. But like the fastest you can build is 15 things at once, and I like to be able to do that. But we can also look at hopefully getting down our... Um, consumer goods and with five actually one two three four five that's going to take us slightly over so i think even with if we have to do any trading our stuff that should hopefully get us up to the all right three military factories how many do we have where does it say <laughs> i did say in the update video that one of the reasons why i would most likely be coming back to this is because i don't actually know right okay so we have one two three four for the time being i'm going to leave that on one inventory equipment one that is actually the Right, infantry equipment one is the second type of gun, isn't it? Oh, uh, where's the tech page? You know, if I really wanted to bring honor back to my playthrough, I'll make up for the dishonor of my previous playthrough. I probably... Research. I'm looking for technology, but what I should have been looking for was research. I probably should have actually... No, I don't want to be building the Mark 1, I want to be building the Mark 6. We have the Mark 6 researched. Oh, I am building the Mark 6, that's fine. Okay, so it's not showing the uh, outdated stuff. That I'm happy with. Free naval dockyards. Oh, that was another thing. I thought, right, because we could do lend lease, I assumed I can focus on airplanes and Joe could focus on navy, on research-wise. And I thought Joe focusing on the navy because he had access to both uh, you know, theatres, whereas I only had access to this one and my planes could fly basically anywhere, but again, probably wasn't the cleverest of ideas. But we do have naval dockyards. So what can we build? I would say we'll just go for convoys. Here we have two. <clears throat> Actually, let's just go down to a one naval uh, for the convoys and... They're rubbish, but let's build a basic destroyer. God's sake, we've got no oil. Of course we've got no oil for Australia. National focus. As I said, we're going to go down for the um, the fascist route. Oh wait, you can do a democratic about the UK. See, I technically would like to do a stay with the UK fascist. <laughs> Um, but obviously, if you stay with the UK, they only give you the option of democratic. And either way, I think that the sentiment of never another Gallipoli... Like, Gallipoli <laughs> was a disaster. Um, you know, lots of people died, so yeah, let's, let's try and not have that. Unassigned divisions. Really, I have one? Oh no, you're just selecting one at a time. Control click, shift click. Shift click gets them all, okay. And I'm temporarily going to close you because I'm not quite sure. Shift click, all of you, into a new army. Select to assign a commander. Uh, so far, everybody's a general. Armor officer, desert fox. Hill fighter. I'm trying to think where we'll be fighting. Hills is quite likely, actually. So let's assign you the hill fighter. I know that there's better people up here, but it's actually the the medals that I'm more looking for looking into there. I also want to create an army group. There we go. And we're gonna apply a unable to promote. Oh, need more CP. CP. What's CP? Current experience? But surely, sh like... Oh, command power, command power. Right, okay. Uh, we do gain point three. 
I just like the idea if we're gonna have things, then you know, have them all in. Three military factories. Oh yeah, of course, so we actually have proper military things still. Well, let's go support equipment. Toad artillery. This is probably actually overkill. Yeah, we're not going to build great war tanks. And you guys are all basically interwar variants of the... I know the carrier bomber looks like you're actually a carrier bomber one. But we're not going to do anything over you. Do. Okay, we have one more factory, so let's just put you on guns for now. And let's, for the time being, put you guys above these so that you actually get your... Your supplies first, although it looks like we are actually... Oh, we've got a fair chunk of steel, actually, so building things... I've got to stop saying actually. Right, no template. Yeah, we have no template for the support artillery of a toad... Sorry, the support equipment of a toad artillery yet. That's fine, you can go away. Low manpower. What am I meant to do about it? Insufficient resources, we need oil and aluminium. Right, at what rate is it actually reducing? The oil I'm not too fussed about. I, I want to see the construction speed. Lack of resources is only a 5% drop on efficiency. So for 5%, I don't give a crap. I'm not going to import it. Lack of resources, 10%. So is it that it's stacking? Right, you're lacking resources as well, so what's your efficiency drop? 5%. So maybe, um, is it that for the first of each resource that's gone it's 5%, then for the second it's 10%? We'll have to see as we get less, but even a 10% reduction on our destroyer construction speed, I'm not that fussed about at the moment. Now the boo hiss has gone, but I'm going to continue on a little bit more. Uh, you guys. I don't particularly want any cavalry, so let's swap you out. The basic infantry. There we go. Close you. I'm going to want you guys to exercise, which is down here. Yep. Because I'm going to need some army experience to change this, most likely. Uh, recruitment and deployment. See, so infantry division is currently combat width of 22. I'm pretty sure we have a limit of 20. Um, if I remember incorrectly, basically, 20 is a good number because when you're attacking from another side, it adds either 10 or 20. Your, your base is 10 or 40. Uh, units of 5, 10, 20 or 40 are ideal. And of course, we're going to want our support equipment in there when we can. And I... Because we're not going to have many troops, they're going to have to be as best as we can do. And I think support equipment is going to be one of the cheapest ways to introduce as much extra firepower as we can do. Okay, so you're training. It's standing there is fine. Logistics, we are short on infantry equipment, but we are also producing it, and I doubled the amount that we're producing. Need reinforcements. We are making 10 per day currently. That is with... Oh, it's here. <laughs> that is with only a production efficiency of slightly under 50%. Although our cap is 50%, so basically that's that's it. So basically, yeah, we're at full speed there, so that 10 a day is all we're going to get, and we're currently burning. We have a pr production deficit of 313. What I might do is... Actually, yeah, sorry, production. I do want to introduce you guys as soon as possible, but it is more important that we train up to start with. 
So let's just chuck all of you onto there. Doubling our production. And with that, that's basically the outline of our original plan. We're going to go down the uh, fascist tree. So we're going to ask New Zealand to join us. I don't think they ever do. We're going to try and puppet the Dutch East Indies. I mean, sorry, we're going to um, uh, help in a... You know, if a civil war was to happen in the Dutch East Indies for independence, then of course we will support independence. And we will ask the British nicely to say, obviously, we're better controlling this area, so please give us British Malaya. Singapore and Burma, basically. Or Borneo, sorry. I wish I could ask them for the British Raj. <laughs> I think that'd be taking the mix slightly, but um, yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, that is all the time that we have for today. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.